Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Alfie and today I'm gonna tell you everything we know about the October update in the Mythical Guardian. This video doesn't contain any theories, so every word I say is pure fact. First thing is that this update doesn't contain any Halloween stuff, so don't expect any Halloween decorations or Halloween event. According to what Matt said earlier and also on the stream before the Mythical Guardians released, they are skipping the Halloween update this year. Don't worry, next year there should be a Halloween update, but this year it's skipped because the Mythical Guardians got released in September and they don't have enough time to complete the Halloween decorations and stuff like that. Also, don't expect chapter 2 to be released in this update, this update doesn't contain any chapter. Okay, now what to expect from this update? We can expect 3 new playable characters. So the first character and the most weighted character is Cece. So Cece is Princess of the Glimmering Abyss and she's adoptive daughter of Queen Radicelia and King something. I said King something because the name of the king is unknown. Next character is Citerel. I hope I've pronounced the name correctly. This character is designed by Avocadic, so Avocadic, good job, I like her so much, she looks amazing, gorgeous. Some people say that uh, she has some boutique and it will be something like uh, in the Fairy Guardians, the Sun and the Moon Guardian boutique, but it's not confirmed. So yeah, she's a fashionista and maybe she'll give us some cool skins as an NPC. But don't worry guys, she's going to be also as a playable character. Otherwise there wouldn't be a leak of her like this one. All playable characters get their leaks just like this in this style. The next one isn't confirmed, Matt didn't say nothing about her, but I assume that she's coming. Turkwalina. Turkwalina is in game as an PC already, but she will have her playable version. I don't know through what you will get her, but she will be a refund for those who bought Witchy Trio Game Pass. But as Matt promised in this announcement, she will be available without the Fairy Guardians Game Pass 2. I only know that you will get CC by pulling on the banner and she's gonna replace Victoria, she will be next 5 star character. Also people are speculating about Ariel coming in this update, but guys she's not coming in this update for sure. I know he said that she will be Robux character, but he didn't say she will, but she might, so it doesn't have to mean anything. And honestly, I think that she will never come, unfortunately. I love Ariel, I love Haley, but you know, it's too risky for him. I know she looks a bit different than the original version of live action Ariel, but still, it's as risky as adding other Wings Club members. But he can change her name. So, it wouldn't be that big problem, I think. Well, that's all I have. I have nothing more, nothing less. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye!